Israel's unrelenting strikes against claimed Hezbollah targets in Lebanon has continued. The IDF issuing evacuation orders for Beirut's southern suburbs before its bombing began in the middle of the night. Locals waking to see the destruction, with strikes continuing through the day. Further south in the city of Sidon, a bus carrying UN peacekeepers was among those hit by an Israeli drone. Dozens of Hezbollah rockets also continuing to be fired into Israel. Strikes too on Israel's other front in Gaza. Several Palestinians killed as the IDF targeted what it says were Hamas militants in Nusrat, as well as at a school at a refugee camp in Gaza City. France's foreign minister has been visiting Jerusalem, noting that the winds of change could be coming with the election of Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. He's hopeful the course of the conflicts could change even before he takes office next January. He's never made a secret of his desire to put an end to the endless wars in the Middle East. The conditions, therefore, seem to me to be ripe for progress in the coming weeks. But others will need to be won over as well, including Iran, which is backing the Lebanese group Hezbollah, the country's supreme leader praising the group's efforts in its continuing battles with Israel. The enemy hasn't been able to overcome this organisation and it won't be, God willing. And the world and the region will see the day when the Zionist regime is clearly defeated by these fighters. Meanwhile, Israel's parliament is continuing down a path of backing hardline proposals and plans within its own borders. Backing legislation which would allow the family members of Palestinians found to have attacked Israelis to be deported to places like Gaza. The legislation would be applied to the family members of Palestinians who are Palestinian citizens or also residents of the annexed East Jerusalem. Those who had prior knowledge of these attacks happening or who express support for them afterwards. Although we are already hearing from legal experts that these laws could be unconstitutional and quickly thrown out by the courts.